So now that you know how to make holes from a basic primitive or a basic shape uh, that you bring into the into the work plane, I, I want to take you through a little bit more complex shape building. Uh, and so let's let's take for example those shapes that I was working with earlier in the other video. Uh, let's say that I really wanted to reshape the way this object looked. I want to give it some uh, different uh, different cuts inside it. So uh, I've got a cylinder here. And um, what I want to do is I want to take a little chunk out of uh, each corner of this object. And so a couple things, first of all, uh, to talk to you about in terms of using and working with shapes uh, that I think will be very handy for you. If you hold your Option key down while you click and drag a shape, you could actually create another shape from it. It's, it's a way to duplicate the object in place. So again, I'll hold the Option key down first, click and drag, and I can keep doing this. I can keep making more objects, uh, which is a really neat feature. And by the way, if I want to get rid of those objects, I just hit the Delete key on my keyboard. I'm going to show you this thing one more time. Uh, let's say that I wanted to create another shape like this one, and I wanted to drag it out here, but I wanted to drag it out in a straight line. I would do the same thing with my Option key, but this time I'd hold my Option and my Shift key. And now when I did it and I pulled out, this is actually along the exact same plane. It, it's it's a directly aligned uh, with the first one. Again, I let go, hold down the Option and Shift again, and sure enough, it just does it right again. So this is a way to create more objects and create them on the same plane or on the same direction uh, as your original. So Knowing those two things right now with Option and with Shift, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it about like that on this object. And I'm going to hold my Option and my Shift key and I'm going to drag this over to the side as well. So now I've got one on each side. And I want to get these over to the other corner too, this, to this side here. So let's see if I can do this. I'm going to hold this one, and I'm going to hold the Shift key and get this one. So now I've got two selected. Okay, I've let go of the Shift key now. I'm going to hold down Option and Shift together, and click and drag. And just like that, I've created two more, lined up exactly as my other ones were lined up. Okay, and I'm going to take these and I'm going to use them as cutouts for this original red object. And the way I need to do that, if you'll remember, in order for this to be a cutout of this, this cylinder must become a hole. So I'm going to click on it, make it a hole, that looks good. And for the remaining three, I'm going to click on one, hold my Shift key, click on the other, and click on the other, and I'm going to turn them all into holes at the same time. Okay, so now I've got this new shape that I'm about to create. I just need to select everything and hit group and now I've got this brand new cool looking shape. Okay, So this might be a part that I'm creating for you know um, a robot that I'm making or something like that. So just like that I've been able to reshape a basic uh, a basic cube into something much more complex. And the nice thing is when you once you've read once you've done this and, and created your new shape, then you can resize it and reshape it like this. Um, and everything follows. So all those holes that you made and everything that you did, it all corresponds now because it it is technically now just one new shape. 